You look at my personal experiences in life. Oh, there is nothing meaner in this world than a 12-year-old black girl. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Just full of sass and confidence and beads flying everywhere. <laughs> and you gotta give them the beads so you can hear them coming. <laughs> Otherwise, they just silent predators. <laughs> I know that's a little bit of a harsh statement. So I'd like to tell you a story to prove my point a bit. Tell you about the time I saw a 12-year-old black girl. <laughs> I was in New York City. It's coming up out of the subway. 12-year-old black girl spotted me. <laughs> and I didn't have time to run away. And she just looks me dead in my eyes. And she just goes, oh, you're killing it. <laughs> in a way that indicated I clearly was not. <laughs> Who does that to a stranger? years ago, I'm still fucked up about it. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it no more. I want to go to my happy place. Thank you. Talk about my favorite show. The best show on television. It's so sweet and charming. It's called The Great British Baking Show. <laughs> Show! I love everything about it. Oh, girl, I love Paul Hollywood, first of all. I love Mary Berry, girl. Love Mary Berry. Ooh. I'm going to figure out a way to impregnate that old lady. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Believe in me. I love the Great British Baking Show. If you don't know it, it's a baking competition show, obviously set in Great Britain, <laughs> where they have no prize money. <laughs> Why are you doing it? <laughs> You're just baking for the love of cake? And I must stress, watch The Great British Baking Show, because there is also a spinoff called The Great American Baking Show. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking sucks. <laughs> it's not sweet, it's not charming, it has this baker that looks like a magician, and I don't like that. If a competitor on the Great British Baking Show finishes a challenge early, do you know what they do? They go and help. <laughs> the other competitors. What the fuck is that? <laughs> we don't do that in American reality shows. You got to set somebody on fire. <laughs> if the Great British Baking Show was created in America, it'd just be called Murder Cake. <laughs> Two bakers walk in. You can, fin you can finish it. However many you want. <laughs> <laughs>
I love baking shows. I love them. I love cooking shows. I love them even more lately. They're a great way for me to get my vices out, watching somebody else eat horrible foods while I drink a protein shake or whatever. <laughs> so I'm sure some of you have never seen me before in your life. You uh, If you have seen me before, you might be aware, um, in the last two years, I've lost 140 pounds, which is a big deal. I'm gonna get real healthy and not just American healthy. <laughs> she was at my heaviest, uh, I was 360 pounds, which is a lot of a human being. And at one point in my adult life, I was just like, oh, I'll just probably never be under 300 pounds. Uh, but then my mom talked to me, some friends talked to me, and they got me motivated. And I got under 300 pounds, and I was like, this is pretty cool. But, you know, whatever. Probably never be under like 250. But I kept working out. Kept throwing up. <laughs> but then after I threw up, I worked out. Then I got under 250 and I was like, oh shit. I wanna see how healthy I can get. And my friends are not supportive. <laughs> I mean, they were at the start, you know, when I wasn't a threat to their sexual conquest. <laughs> but now they're just like, okay, come on, Ron, calm down. <laughs> You're already sweet, charming, you got way more money than us. These are the things I think they'd be saying. I don't really be listening. <laughs> I know what they say. Because it hurts my feelings sometimes. And sometimes I'll just be like, look, Ron, look, I hate to say it, but you're just not as fun as you used to be. You used to be so fun just eating cheese steaks and sweating all the time. <laughs> we miss that guy. No, all you want to do is eat oatmeal, work out. Ugh. <laughs> you be fun again. Come out with your boys. Do the things we used to do. We could get some midnight. Secret pizza. <laughs> mm hmm <laughs> And we don't have to tell nobody. Cause that's the only rule of secret pizza. <laughs> we take this tombstone to our grave. <laughs> That's what I learned about myself, you know? I feel as you get a little bit older, you learn more about yourself, your shortcomings. Instead of trying to fix every little thing, you just start to try to accept yourself for who you truly are. And I just learned I'm just not the type of dude that could have secret pizza. <laughs> oh, because I can't stop. <laughs> My friends can stop, you know? They can get off their diet, get back on their diet like nothing happened. Oh, if I have secret pizza? Shit, the next thing I know, I'm in the parking lot of a Wendy's sucking a dick for a Baconator. <laughs> and I don't even really have to do that. They are very affordable. <laughs> <laughs> 